Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, um, there's going to be a major shift here. <clears throat> I mean, if you're not talking to somebody, I feel that that's going to just turn around. Um... At the heart of this reading, we have the doll. And so this is about old wounds. Um, somebody could be reflecting on an old wound and uh, on a past situation wherein uh, there still seems to be a lot of confusion. This is why you're not talking right now or they're not talking to you right now. But we see that a major change is coming here. And we see that soon uh, you will receive a message from this person. Okay. So <clears throat> this person, they're, re they're going to reach out to you because they need information. One minute. I'll be right back. This person is going to reach out to you because they are missing well it's to clear up this confusion they need this information it's like they they can't uh they can't get the answers any other way they have to talk to you if they want these answers this ended badly between you and it feels almost ceremonially <laughs> it feels like um uh it could have been an on again, off again type of relationship where it always ended, you know, badly. Um, or this could be like a repeating pattern throughout this person's life because of their ghosts, you know, their ghosts, ghosts from the past. That made it feel like that for this person. It's like, ugh, it always ends this way for me, you know. And so this person, although it has ended, <clears throat> there's still uh we see the sun rising here and uh and so uh, they're still maybe hoping that they could bring it back from where it is from the brink of death one minute sorry about that i had to pick up my little dog so <clears throat> okay so it ended badly and now clearly we see that they want to get this back on its feet and they're looking at the wheel. The wheel is stopped on the relationship. Um, they're looking at the wheel, and the sun rides the top of this wheel. Nothing else does. Well, it's, it's above the wheel. Nothing rides the wheel, actually, um, because it is stationary, not moving. And so um, they're wanting this clarity that the sun is offering above the wheel. But in order to get this clarity, they must step up to the wheel and take a spin. It's how they're going to get the that's how they're going to get the information that they need. The answers to whatever is on their chest here with this chicken. And I mean the chicken says it all, right? So they're 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 afraid to go and do this. <clears throat> it could be that they left uh well they left things badly for sure. There's uh we have the couple right here. Right here, and there's a card of spite in between. So I feel like maybe uh, he has some bitter feelings towards her about th this Ten of Swords energy, whatever happened, whatever went down between, uh, between them. Or maybe simply because he didn't get what he wanted, you know. But that doesn't mean he doesn't love her because he surely does love her. <laughs> we know that for sure right here. And we know that he wants this opportunity. He could be a little stubborn. Um, <clears throat> um, he's wishing for these answers. He has the wishbone on it, uh, on the chicken. Um, <clears throat> The braid is uh, things left unsaid, undone, uh, a lot of loose ends, uh, a lot of loose ends. That's those answers they want. Um, the leg, I, I feel the leg is about, um, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 
trying something new or a fresh new approach to the problem um, in order to tie up these loose ends, you know. So I, I kind of feel like they have an idea about what they'd like to do and how they're going to approach this problem because clearly they really love you. They, it's like they can't move on. Everything just seems like it stopped. It's like, when you guys broke up, everything just stopped for this person. And I feel like now it's like they see they want to see the bigger picture. There's confusion. They want to chase away that confusion and try to heal this relationship and try to turn the page on on this past situation of the Ten of Swords. Okay. But to do that, once again, this person will need to take action. They will need to take the first step here. So they need to take the first step. Oh my God, see, you have the card of love and healing. Um, wow, so this person really loves you. And possibly they've been hiding a lot of their... Uh, feelings, their emotions um, from you uh, until it's like until they get these answers, you know. And so here's the spider and this is them um, watching. They're watching you. They're watching. Uh, they're thinking. So that's a card of observing, watching, thinking, waiting, being really intensely focused on something, possibly a master plan or their next move, you know. So this is somebody lying in wait, waiting to make a move, okay. And the reason they're held there is possibly because uh, something is eluding them. Now, there we have the grasshopper on top that is clarifying as well this is a, a situation uh, that requires careful handling so um, the grasshopper is resting upon that blade of grass and uh, it actually the grass actually looks way too frail to to carry the weight of the grasshopper um, but the grasshopper is perfectly balanced in the moment until he moves and when he does well he has to move with great care or risk falling right taking a fall and so this is what they're afraid of they risk taking that fall <clears throat> so so death is here and the cobbler is here and, and so um, the cobbler is the magician in this deck. So um, right now we see that there is silence because something is eluding them. They feel like they're missing information and they're afraid to take a fall if they make that move. Okay. And, but there's a chance here to turn the page. There's a chance with death to turn the page. Here it is here and here it is here. Okay. Um, they must not be afraid. They must not be afraid. Look how they, this person hides their eyes underneath. Hierophant is flat down on his face too. So, you know, um, they must not be afraid to face uh, these ghosts. You know, death, death says that all uh, present and uh, past ghosts need to be overcome in order to proceed. Okay, so um, this is, in order to conquer these, these ghosts, I feel like this person has to make this move to repair this relationship or to, uh, they have to make that choice to repair it or to a start over in new and clearly they don't want to start over uh, in uh, with somebody else they they want this relationship so they want to repair it because their heart is involved and their their heart still wants this relationship 
And so here's the opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune. And it um, uh, this could be about lessons. Has this person learned their lesson? The wheel is down here waiting for them, just waiting for them to uh, step up. Again, the, with all, all of these ten of swords suggest there are uh, several ghosts hanging around here for, that this person needs to deal with in order to proceed to the greater goal. Okay, And so uh, here they are in the hanged man uh, energy on the wheel of fortune, trying to understand um, what they need to do uh, to change their situation and what we see is that uh, on this particular hangman uh, they are being given uh, water for their thirst so there is a uh, an understanding here or they're receiving understanding so uh, now they know what to do now they know what to do and so here's justice and this could be about um, doing the right thing. It could be also about speaking a truth. And this is what they're going to do. I feel this is what they want to do. Um, they feel maybe that things are unfair or that somebody was unfair with them in the past. They're still in love with this person. And um, they really want to clear the air, I think. They want to get something off their chest. They want to ask this person something. Obviously, the situation ended badly and they didn't get what they wanted. And they're feeling very bitter because of that. So they want to go and make things right, do the right thing, speak the truth. We have the hand. And so um, this card indicates that there's some help or assistance or guidance coming. Well, we saw that. It's here on the hanged man. They're receiving this guidance. And so the next one is the bridge. Um, the bridge signifies that uh, a problem that has been bothering this person will be successfully overcome. They have been shown the way here. Um, there is news coming of a romantic nature <laughs> in their future here with the fan and the bird. So, uh, somebody from your past is coming back, all right? Uh, this person here, they're coming back. Now, they, they may have been afraid to make this move uh, for some time uh, as they, you know, they, they're trying to, to figure this out. And, and I feel like there's just no other way. It's like if they want these answers that they crave, that they need, then they must take that move. It's like taking a leap of faith into the unknown. That's what they must do. The, the, the wheel is, is inviting them to step up and do this. And I feel with both wheels being in the upright, this action would prove to be very, very rewarding. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.